When you meditate, try to make it a game. Meditation is something that we do with a serious purpose, but we don't have to be grim about it. Think of it as an opportunity. You're free from all the other things that would pull you away. And as John Lee says, he, he gives you a, a, a doll to play with. You can play with the body, the elements in the body. How is the breath element? How is the heat element? How is the coolness element? How is the solidity element? Are they in balance right now? If they're not, what can you do to change? You can play around, play around with the breath. And do it as a game. Say, well, what happens if we do this? What happens if we do that? It's like a little kid getting a guitar for the first time. You're not expected to create any great performances quite yet. Yeah, you just get to explore. What's the guitar like? What happens if I hit this string, pluck that string? How about these strings? And you find that you get the hang of it. Have you had somebody watching over very strictly, saying, okay, you can't do that, you can't do this, the kids would put the guitar down pretty quickly. But if you see it as an opportunity to explore, to fool around, you find that there's a lot going on here. And this is a lot more useful than playing a guitar. When the weather's too hot, you can find the cool breath inside. When you're feeling sick, you can figure out there are other places in the body that, where there's no pain, I can focus on those. And I can use the comfortable breath in those parts of the body to help relieve some of the tension around the pain. So think of, it, think of it as an opportunity to have some fun. We're working with the breath, but we're also playing with the breath. Now we can fill up the hour with some enjoyment. It's not just the physical pleasure that gives you enjoyment in the meditation, but it's figuring things out and exploring possibilities. That's the kind of pleasure you get from the meditation as well. So we're not here just for the nice feelings, but we're here to explore and to gain knowledge. And as we all know, knowledge doesn't have to be grim. It doesn't have to be forced down your throat. There are ways of making it interesting. So be that kind of pedagogue, that kind of teacher who knows how to keep the topic interesting for the children. And you can find you can stick with the meditation for long periods of time and not feel like it's a long period of time at all. You get absorbed. Years back I was doing a mural painting. I could work for hours and it wouldn't feel like hours at all because I was absorbed in what I was doing. And because it was fun. I wasn't doing it for an art class, I was just doing it on my own. So try to have that attitude. You're doing it on your own here. So we see what kind of enjoyment you can find in the process of exploring your breath.